I'm going to be giving you a complete tutorial on how to edit within CapCut, as well as a special bonus at the end of this video for YouTubers looking to grow their channel. Now I'm doing this from an iPad for the sake of it being a bigger screen for you to see as well as having a cursor, but it's the exact same experience if you're on iPhone or Android. So to start, we're gonna click new project and add our footage. So for this project, I'm just gonna click on these three videos right here, and then I'm gonna click add, and that'll add them to my timeline. I can always add more footage later by just clicking this plus button, and it'll take me back to my videos. I can also switch to photos if I want to, but for now, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click the X button here. And you can actually use your finger to scroll through the timeline to look at your footage, and you can pinch to zoom out so you can see it better. You can also pinch to zoom in to get really, really close if you're doing something very specific. If you need to rearrange your clips, just use your finger, hold your finger down on one of the video clips. You can actually scroll with your finger and move it to any position that you want, and then just let go and it'll be there. Now for trimming your videos, all you have to do is click on one of the videos that you want to trim and grab either side with your finger and you can kind of drag your finger right to the spot where you're about to start talking, let go, and it'll trim that video to that point. If you're trying to trim something out of the middle, what you can do actually is scroll to the spot where the middle thing's happening. You can click on the video and then click on this split button right here. When you do that, it cuts the clip in half and then you can touch either side and trim over and I can choose this other clip here and trim there. So that's how you trim something out of the middle. If you want to delete a clip, there is a trash can right here. You can click that. And if you make a mistake and actually didn't want to delete that, there is a back button right here that you can click that will reverse any actions that you make. Now, once you go through all your footage and you click on it and you do all your different trims with your finger and stuff, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is click the back button and now we can add other things on top of our videos. So if we click on audio over here, we can actually add sounds and effects here to our video. If you wanna add your own custom music from YouTube, I actually have a tutorial down below in the description to show you how to add any song to CapCut. If you wanna add text, you can click it here and click add text type out your text right like that. You can use your finger to move it around on screen. And then you can also hold your finger down on the element and you can scroll it around and move it in your timeline to any spot that you want. Stickers is obviously gonna let you choose any kind of sticker or emoji, click on it again. And you can just drag it around the screen and add it to your timeline. You also have an overlay button. So if you were to add an overlay, you can actually just click on a video, click add, and it'll do a picture in picture effect. So if you're doing like a gaming video, Video. You can put like your reaction in the corner and kind of talk about the product. So you can kind of layer those videos. Same thing, you can trim them and drag them around the screen. And then there's also things like effects and filters. So you can kind of customize and adjust your video, like the brightness here, you can turn up and down. Different things like that are in this filter section. So you can make your video look a certain way. There's also a format button here. So if I actually wanted to turn this into a TikTok video, I could format it to nine by 16 and it actually turns it into TikTok format. And if I really wanted to, then I could click on this video using my fingers. I can pitch to zoom, which will allow me to zoom in on my video. And there, now I've just turned my video into a TikTok. So that might be useful to you as well for creating YouTube shorts or TikToks. Now you'll also notice that there's these white little lines in the square box next in between all the videos. If you actually click on those, you can add transitions to your videos. So I could choose something like camera. I could do this 3D transition. You know, there's a whole bunch of different transitions you can choose from and you can place those in between each of your clips. Now, once you're finished with your video, you can technically click on this video part at the end where it advertises CapCut. You can click delete on it so you don't have that advertisement at the end. And then you can click this download button up in the corner here, and that'll allow you to download your video. Now, if you're learning editing so you can make videos on YouTube, I actually have a free training you can take showing you actionable strategies to get your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if your goal is to hopefully get monetized on YouTube, the link is in the description to sign up for the free training so you can take the right steps to get to 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible. So sign up for that down below and be sure to check out this playlist here if you wanna learn some more tutorials and cool things you can do within CapCut.